Uh, in this recording, I will show how we can use the Titan embedding model from Bedrock to create uh, text embeddings. Um, and what we are going to do is uh, we'll first activate the Titan embedding model in AWS Bedrock. Then we'll create an access policy in AWS to give uh, only invoke access to the embedding module and then create a role and attach the policy to the role and then write and execute a Python program to create the embedding. So let us go to the AWS console, All right? So this is the uh, Amazon Bedrock service. Uh, how I came to is, to that is like if you type Bedrock, Amazon Bedrock, get started. And under model access, we can see all the models available. Now for embedding, I saw that only Titan embedding from Amazon are available. I earlier thought that uh, Cohere embeddings are also available, but uh, looks like for Cohere on the, only the command models are available. Um, but um, so right now for Titan embedding and uh, Cohere um, for, for in my console it is showing as access granted. Uh, if you have not uh, requested for the access, you probably will see not requested. So the first thing is to, um, like if you want to uh, get access, uh, click on edit and then, um, so uh, in, in this case, like I um, have already uh, selected, right? And then uh, did a safe changes. For example, like if uh, I, I want, let's say stability AI access, right? I'll click on those and do a safe changes. Uh, same thing I did for the Titan embeddings. I selected the model, save changes. Uh, access was immediately granted. Um, then I wanted to also test out the Cohere command model. Um, when I did the Cohere command model, it took some time to get the access. Uh, uh, so uh, for the uh, for the Cohere, I think it, it uh, goes through the AWS marketplace. And since this is AWS's own model, it was immediately granted. Uh, the Cohere took sometimes, I think, five to 10 minutes, right? So that is how um, you first get uh, access to the Titan embedding model. Once that is done, uh, our next step is to create an access policy uh, so that um, um, we, we can create a role and attach that access policy, which will have access only to invoke this model. And this is a thing that I liked in, in Bedrock compared to what I have seen in OpenAI. In OpenAI, you get one um, access key, API key, and with that API key, you can do anything that you want. Uh, but here I can do a granular uh, level of uh, um, access uh, control. Um, using the IAM roles. So let me go to the IAM role and show you what I did there. So I created a policy uh, like this. So if I go to the policy, uh, if you see in the policy, what I did is I said like, you can only invoke the model and that too, only the Amazon Titan embed text V1. That is the model name. This is the uh, policy that I have created and then attach this policy to a role that I have created. And this is the role, uh, AWS Bedrock embedding role, right? And this role has this policy, policy attached. And this is the role now I'll use to do the embedding. Um, so our next step is to, um, so we, we spoke about the first three. Now we'll go and uh, walk through the Python program and uh, use the role to create the embedding. So this is the Python program. And uh, this program I'll upload in, in my uh, GitHub repo also so that uh, uh, you can refer it and use it uh, as you like. Um, so I created a class, uh, Bedrock client class. Under that, um, I have a uh, protected uh, uh, function, get Bedrock client. Uh, this is a very uh, simple logic where um, I am getting the uh, profile, um, like if, if there is a profile name um, given, so I am using the default profile name. Um, so this this profile name is uh, what is there in your uh, .aws folder uh, in the uh, 
in the dot aws folder your default profile is set right so from the that is the profile name i'm using and um, i'm creating the session this is the uh, best practice instead of directly doing a boto 3 dot client we the recommended approach is to create the session first with the session arguments which is the profile name here uh, then i am creating a instance of uh, uh, sts um, using the session dot client and then assuming the role now the role that i have created um, I, i'll uh, pass the role later on uh, to uh, create that um, uh, uh, sts assume role right and then the retrite configuration is where i say like uh, how many number of attempts uh, should it make to connect to the embedding api and then i have the uh, so when i say response equal to sts dot assume role uh, it gets a temporary uh, access key x uh, secret access key and the session token right uh, in the response object this is what i am passing to the client quirks and now uh, i am uh, so if if i i want to create an instance of the runtime client then i'll use the bedrock runtime service otherwise uh, bedrock um, so in this case to run the embed i need the bedrock runtime client um, so runtime is default for that uh, module so uh, here i'm creating now the bedrock client with uh, the service name which is this bedrock runtime uh, our retry config which was this right and then the client quirks is the access key uh, secret access key right which we got through the sts assume role so this this uh, function is returning the bedrock client and then the actual uh, the main uh, get embedding function is coded here as another uh, function where we take the text assume role and the model id right now i have defaulted in future if uh cohere embedding also comes in we can use the same to uh use cohere embedding as well so the bedrock runtime client i am uh, uh getting the bedrock runtime client by calling the function this function here uh right which is returning me the bedrock client right so i'm getting the bedrock runtime client then i am uh putting the text in the json format um then i'm setting the content type and all and finally here i am invoking the model right bedrock runtime client dot invoking the model with the body and the model id i get the response body from the response body i extract the embedding right and then i ret i return the embedding right this is my class now how do i instantiate it in my main entry program um this is the text i wanted to embed i create a instance of the bedrock client and then i call the get embeddings uh, uh, of the instance where i pass the text and the assume role now this assume role i have put it in my uh, en dot uh, env file right from there i am getting the assume role right and then um, after i get the embedding i just print it out right so i ran it once so if you see the output is the output of this uh, text is uh, this embeddings here right so this is this is all i wanted to show uh, today on how to use uh, titan model from bedrock to embed text uh, i am going to share this code as well on in my github repo uh, that's all for today thank you